Good morning to all of you. First of all, I want to say thank you to Professor Mario Mignone for the invitation to take part in an important and interesting event as that. I'm honored to be here and discuss with you, esteemed professors, scholars, and intellectuals. Then I must uh, uh, to publicly say thank you to my longtime friend, not Algerian, neither Italian, but uh, Mediterranean uh, friend, Amara, who knew me about 20 years ago, many, many years ago, uh, for your friendship, esteem, and support. I really apologize for yesterday dinner. I wasn't with you because coordinating a team, a team of young analysts involved a 25 hour in monitoring, in monitoring the jihadi sphere, especially the social network and platform as Twitter across the web. And yesterday, as soon as the first news about the Paris attack uh, appeared, I began to, to connect it with, the, with them to follow the evolution of, of the in progress situation to capture sin significant contents collective imageries uh, uh, and uh, about the mood especially of the group of self-proclaimed jihadi lions of the web and or other groups of followers uh, as proto-jihadists. Finally, I apologize for my tiredness, but for the same reason I didn't sleep. In this situation, it's very import important information gathering to understand, and not autom automatic, but human information gathering, to understand what's happening and what changed. Well, the, cor the current presentation aim uh, is to represent the complexity of the dark side of the Mediterranean scenario, focusing on three different criminal phenomena, organized crime, mafia, and terrorism, populating the same playground, usually not competing, but directly or indirectly interacting and make business, criminal business, and or share targets together. Because of the, of the yesterday attacks, I decided to change a little bit the structure of my presentation to give more space to the evolving phenomenon of terrorism in the Mediterranean region, showing the impact of its rhetorics and narratives to create consent, reinforce identity, and trigger to, to action through the 10 years process of moving from the de-jihad to the cyber-jihad. To do this, I selected some key media products useful to support the main step, steps of this path. So let's start talking. <clears throat> let's let's start talking on the research appro approach promoted by, at the Crime Lab, which is based on interaction between practice and research, because it's a, it's a research center at the CPOL system, the European Police College. A EU, EU agency. To do this, I select some some uh, EU project I took part as expert on uh, organized crime, mafia, and terrorism. Uh, first of all, the quantitative approach. This is a, a model, uh, a system dynamic model used in a Chris Admin pro project, critical infrastructure simulation of advanced models of interconnected network resilience. Concert the evaluation of impacts of, of large catastrophic events such as terrorist attacks on critical infrastructure. The quantitative approach, the qualitative approach, as in the results reviewing social auditing practices to combat exploitative brokering in Southern Country project, achieved with the, um, uh, achieved with the fina financial support from the prevention of uh, and fight against crime program, the European Com Commission, uh, the, the proposals target on trafficking in human beings, aiming to contribute to trafficking prevention and victim identification referral by combating exploitative, exploitative brokering practices through social auditing. But also a, a multidisciplinary and comparative approach such, such as uh, the, the project to support uh, support to the reform of the criminal justice system in Georgia. This, this was a very important project because uh, uh, has been uh, because a notable achievement of this project has been the first juvenile code in the Republic of Georgia adopted by the Georgian Parliament on uh, 12th June 2015. 
And uh, last but not least, uh, these are some researchers uh, uh, who described the, the activity in du during here monitoring the evaluation of threat relating to, in particular, to, to terrorism. And from this brief list, you can see how terrorism uh, became uh, become important uh, in the integration and interaction with technology and technology de development, especially for mobile devices, as I show you later. What, uh, what this kind of approach to research, uh, to create, uh, to promote, to support a proactive response just for four directions, forecasting, preventing, contain, containing, and fighting. Containing is a, is a very important concept because today, uh, dealing with the, the complex criminal phenomena, uh, a pragmatic approach want to, uh, has to be based, on my personal opinion, to the, to the aim of containing and not fighting or disrupting because phenomena as a, with a with a high level of infiltration just like the mafia are very hard and maybe after 50 years of, of infiltration impossible to uh, infiltrate from from the the territories um, uh, the analysis is based on a three dimension uh, on a concept of three dimensionality of a complex uh, criminal phenomenon uh, which focus on the subject is is behavior is a uh, is criminal behavior and background on the relationship the tie the tie up the nature of the agreement the pet which is different in in each structure and the environment the subculture the the system the set of these values the roles and so on using a standard uh, a standard model a standard approach uh, uh, given by the strategic studies uh, or the possibility uh, based on the possibility to analyze uh, this uh, this phenomenon uh, using a three level uh, approach, uh, which one is uh, the strategic one, the, tactil, the tactical level, and the operative level. Okay, so what is now the main threat in the Mediterranean region? The criminal camp complex phenomenon, but what is this? is given by three different kind, three different categories, organized crime, mafia, and terrorism. And we have to recognize it. Why? Because Italy has a specific role in the middle of the Mediterranean. It, it can be considered as an hub country, a country in which you can find uh, maybe all the most important uh, uh, mafias and organized crime group, groups operating uh, in the Mediterranean area from Balkans and Caucasia, uh, from Africa and so on. This is uh, just a picture, uh, both pictures are given by, by Limas, uh, the, the review was cited uh, before, the geopolitics review, and um, this is a, uh, a picture in which you can, you can uh, uh, see immediately the interaction between some organized crime group and mafia uh, abroad and an Italian one. Uh, I just uh, when when I when I when I research when I study when I, I analyze a phenomenon, I try to uh, deeply understand what is this because if I have to find if I need to find the, the tools if I uh, to advise in, uh, on the tools uh, to be used to fight it, it's very important that I, I understand what I'm looking at. So, organized crime group have a, uh, has a specific task, an high level of criminal specific skill, is based on a system of functions. It's a small group, three or twelve individuals. Uh, its structure is horizontal, uh, sometimes leaderless or with a strategic uh, leader is characterized by the high level of flexibility. Dynamism uh, is not integrated into the surrounding area. Uh, is based on the business deal and uh, it acts in a, in a way, in a very tactical way. Tactical action serialized, just like the armored attacks. 
but the um, but be ba uh, being based on the business deal given it a high level of vulnerability why because for example in the mafia entity i use uh, i always use the concept of entity because today uh, there are several uh, structure and a way to uh, to interact and to build uh, associated um, uh, entities it operates on a multitask on a multitask uh, path it, uh, in, inside of it, you can find a different level of criminal skills. It's a system of roles, not function, roles. It is a way to uh, interconnect families, and so uh, you can find several models of hierarchical structure, not just the pyramidal one. It's based on a long-term strategy, which is uh, it always is based on the progressive uh, accumulation of, of, uh, of money and in the uh, perverted loop of money and power and uh, is well integrated into, into the, the surrounding area because it's based on a blood type pet and pet of honor it describes a system of values a subculture and a specific language uh, also here you can find tactical action but they are uh, mentioned in a in a long term strategy and it is very imperma in, and it express a high level of impermeability um, most of you uh, know this kind of know Italian uh, uh, Italian mafias very well. So I uh, I decided to uh, to show you to take for example uh, two uh, two uh, kind of mafia, not Italian, the the Albanese mafia, because uh, as a, uh, because uh, as a, a good projection in the Mediterranean. Uh, across uh, Cyprus uh, and, uh, and Turkey, and uh, the Nigerian one, at, at least uh, the Georgian one. Just to show you the different kind of structure, the language and the system of symbols. This is a typical structure in which uh, uh, you can find a sort of, um, of double uh, directorate, and um, this structure is findable uh, uh, especially in Valona and uh, in Tirana. Uh, there are three kinds of subjects uh, uh, who can be used to uh, project criminal interest in other country, and uh, is based on the canoon, the clinic pet of honor, has blood, blood ties, but the most relevant thing is that you can find uh, three, pro three models of structure, one transnational, one urban, and one occasion in, near the coast. And, uh, uh, take attention, please, to the role of the couriers and uh, the words used to address them. Uh, donkeys, surveyors and farmers. Donkeys because uh, they don't have any kind of possibility to, to manage the, uh, the drug, manage uh, the women that they bring for, for sex protection. Surveyors, as uh, the capacity to, to manage, to create a uh, relationship and to, um, uh, and to discuss about, about criminal business. And farmers, in a symbolic way, are uh, the ones who can create, uh, establish a relation on the territory in which uh, it uh, has to, to project uh, itself. And, uh, Another uh, significant di difference uh, uh, than maybe uh, the Italian one is that the pusher in the, in the drug system is rarely Albanian but of often North African because uh, uh, he can interact with other structures uh, managed by, by people from the Maghreb region. 
This is uh, uh, this is a, a synthetic representation, a synthetic re representation of the main uh, criminal asset: the traffic of, of human beings, the traffic in minors, the exploitment, prostitution, uh, and so on. And the need, uh, for sure, to uh, to create uh, uh, to create a solid basement from from the criminal business. So the money laundering and the joint money laundering with other structures, just just like the um, the Pugliese Corona. It's a projection of uh, a small group of uh, people from Puglia in the in the Albanian region. <coughs> it's that structure is very different than the mafia, the Nigeria mafia. Nigerian mafia, uh, two uh, two key uh, key points, two the two main most important cities of uh, of Nigeria for uh, for criminal business are Abuja for prostitution, and especially Lagos from uh, corruption, money laundry, and uh, and so on. This structure is completely different than the first one because it reflect the uh, the model of of, uh, of manage life, the system of relation typical of the Nigerian society. I propose two uh, two kind of structure: the black eggs, and uh, both two are um, similar similar than, than a, a plane in a symbolic way. And the yeah, yeah. Uh, which is uh, which is considered a uh, most uh, uh, developed uh, form of uh, of mafia structure because uh, uh, in the symbolism of the plane has two directorate uh, working parallel in Gine and Jimbi. Uh, but uh, this is a representation of the uh, the main uh, uh, criminal um, criminal business of Nigerian mafia. And this is an interesting uh, picture in which uh, I, I try to uh, to represent the the sex exploitation uh, for prostitution and the role of the voodoo culture applied to to young women to uh, manage their will and to uh, and to force them to prostitute uh, with the role of. Uh, uh, transgener a transgenerational role of the madame, uh, which was a prostitute before, before and after uh, it, it uh, became um, uh, a manager of the other prostitution. Uh, then he can, he can transfer the experience and make this kind of uh, sex exploitation more softly. <coughs> and, uh, uh, with the voodoo, uh, the madam, uh, the Nigerian madam, uh, uh, being in contact with the Italian madam, and uh, they can control all the family of the victims in in in, in her uh, country. This is a totally, a completely different structure, the Georgian Mafia. The Georgian Mafia is very, uh, very flexible, is uh, characterized by a sort of intense mobi mobility and nomadism. And, uh, for example, the projection uh, in, the, uh, in the southern part of the Europe and the Mediterranean, as uh, uh, during the investigation, revealed uh, three main, uh, main cities, uh, Rome, Zurich and the Principality of Monaco. And uh, uh, the, the system of tips in law uh, is structured in, in level, but uh, um, in a very, uh, there are many, many operators that can be managed apart a percentage of the criminal business. Uh, that's because uh, they can move very fastly in, uh, in all the European, uh, the European countries. Uh, but during the last years, we experienced the the, um, the moving from uh, trans transnationalization of mafia to globalization. Everything starts maybe on uh, 26 years ago during the fall of the Berlin Wall, and uh, this is a, an interesting um, uh, word tapping between two Neapolitan members of Camorra, for example, in which one you can find uh, an element. Uh, 
uh, of, uh, of the future uh, development of the Camorra or uh, the, the Ndrangheta II. Uh, that is the, uh, the targeting of uh, small and medium-sized enterprises, just like discos, bar, and pizzerias. But we have to consider that the uh, European scenario, and so the Mediterranean as a part of the European scenario, is characterized by, as given by the Europol, uh, the last report. This is uh, uh, the, the data relative uh, at, um, to 2013, but uh, the report is 2014. Estimated 3,600 organized crime groups operating all over Europe. Europe. So let me say how much is stupid after the Charlie Hebdo attack, for example, uh, when I watch on TV uh, many, uh, many uh, investigation, journalist investigation on the uh, capacity to, uh, to buy a Kalashnikov, a Kalashnikov and a K-42 uh, across the web. I don't think, uh, I don't think that having uh, 3,600 uh, organized crime group uh, all over Europe is difficult, to, um, sorry, uh, it, it's necessary to, it necessary, uh, to buy it on the web, on the dark web. <laughs> And that's why, for example, there is uh, in the middle of the Europe uh, av availability of this kind of uh, criminal tools. But uh, now we must consider that the Mafia are stronger, more complex, more branched and more powerful than other organized crime groups. Uh, I, I quickly uh, move on because uh, uh, I just want to, uh, to show you briefly uh, another, another kind of uh, evolution of mafia, especially um, addressed in Italy for the Andrangheta, the so-called fifth mafia or the invisible one, when mafia become uh, a sort of enterprise infiltrating the system, especially the small and medium enterprises. But, okay, I just want to, to bring you on the, okay, on the terrorist entity. From this jihad to, to cyber jihad, I selected a few videos to show you, to show you how much, uh, uh, how is important to, uh, the, the capacity to create a collective imaginary in, uh, in today uh, Islamist, I want to call it Islamist and not Islamic uh, terrorism. Uh, to create uh, um, an entity, a transnational entity based on the digital individualism and uh, uh, and uh, given by the interaction to a do-it-yourself long-term violent inculturation, the process of self-radicalization uh, or radicalization across the web. I call this process the media morphosis of globalized jihadism. I want to show you, uh, uh, I want to start from the, the statement of Al Zawahiri in 2005 when he, uh, he posted on internet this, uh, this statement, but it's important. We we have underestimated the, this kind of uh, uh, of statement because uh, uh, during the, the the move from a, an analogic culture to a digital culture, we are un underestimated that the new battlefield is not only in terms of technology, but in particular as a cyber social environment. So we have to use new tools to understand the complexity of this environment, to understand uh, uh, the behavioral triggers and so on. From al Qaeda to Islamic State, the media morphosis. Now, this is just to represent you uh, that uh, we used to, um, to forget uh, the impact, the capacity to create uh, consent of uh, a terrorist group uh, when uh, it is not on the top of, um, of the news. But uh, for example, this is a representation, a uh, very good study from uh, Daniel Kilmage, who represented in 2008 the capacity, the media capacity and media galaxy of, uh, of Al Qaeda. And all of this stuff um, 
was not disappeared, but is still is still moving and creating uh, entities. Entities then that can uh, be uh, abbreviated and can be become something something more new. Um, what is the the key uh, the key factor of the media morphosis? The new terrorism is a media is based on a media weaponization that is not the concept of dual using or uh, um, or the use of media for propaganda but is uh, the strong identity based on the cyber culture between terrorism and uh, communication uh, so the deep core of the medium transformation is in its identity as a weapon uh, I, I would uh, <laughs> Uh, show you the difference between uh, uh, these uh, 10 years. Uh, the, the last video uh, um, I would show you uh, was uh, is uh, for the sake of Allah Fisabilila, based on the on the individualism and the multi-target, and uh, it express all the capacity of uh, polysemic uh, dissemination of the Islamic State. This is the structure, it was interesting, but uh, without uh, watching the video, it's hard to do it. And this is the do-it-yourself uh, uh, um, do uh, radicalism for, for, uh, for a way so you can, you can find the language of your, of your we video, you can find uh, the, the MP3 uh, to set as uh, ringtones and so on. Uh, you need a testimonial, a former uh, uh, Deutsch uh, rep. So, thank you.